What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Why the fuck is there just a random storm cloak fighting these guards? Whoa. All right. Oh, what the fuck? Why does it say he's white run guard? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck's going on? Is there more? The fuck? Oh shit! Oh my god, what the fuck? Dude! Oh, oh fuck. Alright guys, well, welcome back to Skyrim Mods for the PS4. Today we're going to be taking a look at four mods, and that first mod was Deadly Bandits of Skyrim. Uh, and it's by Dark Claw Raven, and it overhauls the uh, bandits of Skyrim, and it makes them more deadly. Um, I, I really did not expect this. Look at this! Oh, there's no way! There is no fucking way that I'm going to be able to kill these guys. No, 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 no. I can't! This is so fucked! I can't! I can't do this. I gotta get out of here. Oh my god. Yo, fuck this! <laughs> Dude, that's fucked. Alright, we gotta come back there later or something. I can't right now, though. Holy shit, I gotta get out of here. Oh my god. Alright, that that's the first mod, guys. <laughs> Let's get out of here and take a look at the next mod. We might return to that in a second. But, uh, I, I gotta go. Holy shit. I'll see you guys at the next one. Alright, guys. So the next mod is a companion mod called Kaj by Will Tacular. And it's at Bleak Falls Barrow on the map right here. You'll come here really early on in the game if you follow the main story. Um, so, come over here and uh, find the companion. He is a saber cat, which will follow you around. He has the voice of a Khajiit, and he will help you out in combat. So, uh, pretty cool. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to White Run and see if we can uh, see if we could stand a chance against those guys because they were pretty tough. Their health, like, it increases the health of bandits. So, let's go ahead and check that out, and uh, yeah, let's see how strong they actually are. See if we could take them out. Alright, so we're back here. They're still here. Oh my fucking... Are you, what are you doing? He's just sitting on the fucking ground. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh no. Oh, oh shit. Fucking summon them up. But look at look at some of their health bars. Whoa. Why is he not attacking them? <laughs> Why is he running away? No! What the fuck, dude? Oh no, is this another failure of a mod? No, come on, the mod description says he'll help you in combat. Well. That's unfortunate right there, I'll tell you what. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> he's, he's such... Are you fu... Oh man, no way! What? Alright, well, <laughs> that's Kaj the Companion. Uh, would I recommend it? No. <laughs> it doesn't work. It needs to be updated. Uh, like, in the description of it, it, it says that at first, you know, version 1, it, uh, you know, he wasn't fighting in combat. But it says version 2 that it, I'm pretty sure I downloaded the fucking update for it. Said it said he would help you out in combat. Um, I guess not. So uh, that's that for Kaj. Get get the fuck away from me. All right, we're gonna go on to the next mod, which is a player home, and this one actually is pretty cool. I like this one. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So the next mod is a player home called "I'm Home" for the PS4, and it's by Machines of God 777. And to find this, all you have to do is go east of White Run. It is right next to the Battleborn Farm, and it is not marked on your map, so you're gonna have to discover it. Um, yeah, it's pretty hidden. So just come over here, and uh, this one is really, really cool. I like it personally. Um, there's an apiary thing right there, a little bee nesting area. But I really like this mod because it it's just you'll see uh it's really nice looking but uh one thing to mention real quick it is not compatible with companions or family members you can't send like kids or a husband or a wife here um and you can't bring a companion inside it just doesn't work um but yeah it is a house 
with no loading screens, which is really, really cool. I like the look of it, and the way this house is laid out and everything inside, it is really nice. I like the placement of everything. Um, but as you can see over here, we have just chests and everything, just looking all nice. A little statue right there, you can't take it, but really cool looking. Uh, you got a nice little table right there you can sit down and eat stuff at. Cooking pot, uh, another table, and uh, you come upstairs. Really cool up here. This is a little bedroom area for yourself. Come up here, lay down with a little book right there with a little, you know, fill your bottles of mead, get some Nord mead right there. Really cool. And then if you come back here, you got a little writing desk where you could, you know, sit down, write some shit. And a uh, little you know, alchemy lab, arcane enchanter. This is really cool. All this stuff. You got a butterfly in a fucking jar. Really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And then you come back downstairs in the backyard. This is really cool looking. I like this a lot. Come back out here and we have, you know, weapon racks, typical shit, looking really nice. But this, I've never seen this before and it's really cool. Uh, you come over here and there is a cleansing bath. You sit down in it. It's like a little hot tub. Cleanses you of all of your ailments and uh, you could just sit down and relax inside. Eat some goat cheese and whatnot. Just chill. Get some more Nord mead from that if you want. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool looking. I really like this mod. It's nice. It's an open house. You don't have to sit through a loading screen. Even though the loading screens in this game aren't that bad anymore compared to what they used to be. Um, still really nice, though. Really cool. Every chest and every, you know, uh, satchel and stuff in this place is filled with just random items. You can replace them if you want, though. See, uh, there's a diamond in there. Wow. Pretty cool, though. Lots of hidden goodies all throughout the place. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this player home called I'm Home. So, uh, yeah, definitely go ahead and check that out, and we're going to go move on to the next player home. So, see you guys there. Alright, guys, so the next mod is a player home called Frostvale Estate, and it's by LD50365. And to find it, all you have to do is come over here on the map. It is south of Windhelm, really, really close, and, uh, yeah, you could just walk to it. Uh, it's not that far of a walk but um so outside of the house over here we have a horse which is called enzo and it's automatically yours so you don't have to like buy him or anything um but over here we have a little uh deck patio area where you can come over here and relax and take in the view of windhelm and just a gorgeous skyrim view in general pretty nice looking um but that's pretty much it for the outside so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the inside which uh yeah it's pretty nice Alright, so entering the house, and the first room over here on the left is a book room, empty bookshelves, uh, so you can go ahead and fill the room with books that you've collected over the days uh, of adventuring through Skyrim, so go ahead and do that if you want to. There's some books over here, and a nice little, uh, you know, bear head overlooking the room. Uh, and yeah, pretty nice. Over here we have another room, which is a dining room. Big table in the middle with a bunch of shrines over here, so you can go ahead and get the abilities from them. And there is, uh, there are some books over here, so if you want to go ahead and put them in the book room, you can do that with a nice little fireplace right there as well. And then over here, a shelving unit, which is really nice. I like it. Uh, a lot of unique items from the game that are sitting here and on display. Really cool and really nice. Um, over here, we have a uh, standing stone shelf, so you can go ahead and activate uh, the stones and get the abilities from them. Instead of having to travel throughout Skyrim and walk around, you could just have them all here uh, ready to activate. Um, very convenient. Nice. So inside of here, we have a kitchen. Really nice looking, um, probably the, one of the nicest looking kitchens I've seen in uh, any other mod, um, you know, player homes that I've taken a look at so far. But in here, we have a cooking pot. And the thing that I really like about this that's really nice um, is the fact that it's very convenient. And uh, so say, uh, instead of putting like your breads and everything like that on display out on top of the table um, so that you can go ahead and knock into it and it'll go flying over the place, uh, the mod author made it so that you could actually search these and put your, you know, items inside of there so you can store your meads and everything like that. And it's very organizable. Very nice, very good uh, to organize your stuff with, and I don't know, I really like it. Really nice, so and there's a sink right there, uh, a place to store your meats, and uh, yeah, very nice overall, good kitchen. Uh, and yeah, nice, so let's go ahead and take a look at the downstairs. Um, so down here, there is another room, uh, your typical, you know, mannequin room. You can go ahead and put your stuff on display, your weapons. And then down here, we have a, uh, a guest room with four beds in it. So you can go ahead and have them, uh, you know, have people stay over, you know, slumber party. Very nice. Uh, so, and then in here, we have a crafting room, your typical crafting room. So you have your forges and everything like that, your smithing areas. And then over here, you have your ingots and everything like that. You could search them and put your uh, items in here for more organization. Very nice. So it's not, you know 
putting up, you know, taking up space in your inventory and weighing you down. So that's very nice. Um, and then over here we have uh, spots to put your staffs and then more enchanting tables and everything like that. Uh, search albino spider pods. Oh, didn't even know that was an item in the game. <laughs> and then over here you can put your bugs in a jar and yeah. All this, more organization spots to put your bolts and arrows and swords and battle axes, bows, staves, uh, and yeah, just everything. Really nice. I like it. Very organizable. And uh, yeah. So, going out of the room, and let's go ahead and check a look. Check a look. Let's take a look at the basement. Alright, so down here in the basement, and there are two rooms, the main room, and then over here, this is the planting room, you can go ahead and plant some seeds and grow them, and then uh, you have an alchemy lab with some items over here that you can go ahead and use for crafting, and then over here, let's go ahead and take a look at the main room itself, which is the mannequin room, I'm not going to go walk through the entire thing, because it's pretty big, but as you can see, you can go ahead and put your, you know, items on the mannequins, and yeah, get a bunch of different loadouts going on, and uh, make them look pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for that, and then this leads back to outside, but let's go ahead and take a look at the upper level, the upstairs of the house. See you guys there. Alright, so we're going upstairs now, and there are four rooms we can look at. The first room is another guest room, so over here we have four beds with a nice little uh, map on the wall of Skyrim. Very nice looking indeed. And then going in here, we have another room, which is a bathroom. Uh, you can consider this like a bathtub. I consider it kind of like a sauna room just because of the fact that this does look like a hot tub and you can see the steam coming out of it and there are three seats. So I'd consider this sort of like a sauna room slash bathroom. So you can go ahead and go over there and then after you're done, you can wash up and use the sink and yeah, really nice. And then over here, we have another room, which is another guest room with five beds this time. And there is a thing right there that just shot off the table. Um, but yeah, pretty nice. And then over here, the final room, which is the master bedroom. So over here is your bedroom, and you can go ahead and relax inside, which uh, over here we have an amulet station, so you can go ahead and put all your amulets there and store them inside of there. Really nice. And then over here we have a key to the place, and then another fireplace over here. Uh, you can put a weapon over there, and there is a, uh, a quill with a pen right there, and, you know, writing something, I guess. Um, but over here, this is really nice uh, for organization. You can put your journals, your notes, your unique and rare books, and your spell tomes over here, just in case they're taking up space in your inventory. You want to clear them out, you can put them over there. Very nice. You can, you know, you have a safe over here, a strong box, and everything like that, which is really nice. Uh, but over here is a wardrobe, which uh, is a really pretty interesting secret about the place. Very nice. So in here, uh, this is like the, you know, special room. You put all your unique and rare items in here. So uh, what I would do probably is, you know, if you have a really nice, you know, exquisite elite pair of armor, you could put them on these ones instead of putting them, in, you know, downstairs in the basement. Um, you could put them in here in like a secret off area. Really nice. Over here we have some dragon claws and paragons. You can put them there instead of having them take up space in your inventory. Um, and then over here we have spots to put your dragon priest masks and your daedric artifacts. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys for the house. Um, let's go back outside. Alright, yeah, that's Frostvale Estate. Really nice player home. Uh, they, I, I have some more player homes um, by this mod author that we're going to be taking a look at. So definitely stay tuned. It was really nice taking a look at that one. I really enjoy that one. I'll definitely keep this one installed because it was really nice. Um, but yeah, guys, I know I haven't been uploading that much recently. Um, I'll definitely get back on track with that. I know some people are asking. Uh, so yeah, definitely stay tuned. There will be more to come, obviously. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out some of my other uh, videos on the channel. And uh, yeah, consider subscribing. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.